Be a part of what's happening at TBN. And let's pray together that God will enable you to do more than you even thought. Upwards of 97, 98% of what you see on TBN and Daystar and Inspiration, all this is, is exactly what we're talking about. Every once in a while, you'll see one of the supposedly good guys on there. And I have seen one of the very prominent good guys, pastor in California, and, um, uh, and, and I've enjoyed some of his teaching. And I, He's not word of faith. He's not charismatic. But he was on the set of TBN with Paul Crouch. When, you know, Paul Crouch is dead now, but it's about two years ago. With Paul Crouch, arm in arm with him, raising money for TBN, praising TBN, praising Paul Crouch, and actually preached a sermon to get people to give money to TBN. Is, is that a problem? Is that a problem? It's a serious problem for me because I, I think it's a violation of every principle uh, Scripture gives us of how to deal with false teachers. I quoted my message tonight from Galatians 1 where Paul says, if somebody comes with a different gospel, let him be accursed. And that's loaded with implications. If he's accursed, we're not to have anything to do with him. Romans 16 forbids us to have uh, anything to do with, with someone who's that far uh, away from you know the, the apostolic truth, the gospel. Uh, Second John, it's what the epistle of the little epistle of Second John is all about. Right. It says when somebody comes, you know, uh, and they don't have the doctrine of Christ. That's the way John says it. But I think that's an equivalent phrase of what Paul says in Galatians one, where he says a different gospel. So if, he's not saying if you disagree with them on some minor doctrine, you know, cast them out. But he's saying. If their message substantially changes the doctrine of Christ, that, that is the doctrine, the gospel Christ himself taught and preached, then Paul, or John rather says in 2 John, don't admit him into your house. Don't even give him a greeting. And he goes on to say, the one who gives him a greeting becomes a partaker in his evil deeds. Well, I'm so amazed at the vision God has given to this man. And when I see, when I come here and see how He's touched the world with technology so that he can touch the world with the gospel. I want to be a part of helping him continue to do that. I hope you will do that too. Be a part of what's happening at TBN. And let's pray together that God will enable you to do more than you even thought. I understand the importance of the church. I'm a pastor. I tell people, you know, you should, you should support your church. If they didn't do that, pastors would be out of business. <laughs> but after you support the church... You need to support the ministries that feed your soul, that bring ministry into your life, that help you understand the Word of God. So I encourage you to do that. He doesn't even draw a distinction between himself no. and... Never, never. You never can do that in a covenant relationship. Do you know what else that has settled then tonight? This hue and cry and controversy that has been spawned by the devil to try and bring dissension within the body of Christ, that we're God's. I am a little God. Yes. Yes. I have the his name. I'm one are. with him. I'm in covenant relation. Yeah. I am a little God. Critics, you are God. anything that he is. Oh, I'm telling you, Jesus is in the middle of that pit. He's suffering the very base end punishment. He is suffering all that there is to suffer. There is no suffering left apart from him. His emaciated, poured out, little, little wormy spirit is down in the bottom of that thing. Be a part of what's happening at TBN.